Hello fine people, this is Jerry Travis Smith back with you again and today I'm going to show you how to download YouTube videos so that you can put them on flash drives or whatever so that students can watch them offline. Now there's a lot of YouTube video downloaders that are actually easier to use than what I'm about to show you. However, all of those that I have found either install malware on your machine as in viruses and trojans and whatnot, or they inject advertising that you don't want to look at and track all your data and send it to a mothership somewhere. So I went looking for a solution and found something that works pretty well and it's free. And it works on Mac and Linux and I think it even works on Android and possibly iOS but I'm not sure. I haven't actually tested that out. But anyway if you go to Google, you can type in download VLC because it's called VLC. The VLC Media Player Video Land Client is what it originally stood for. And the first link should be what you can click on. And it will automatically detect if uh, you're on Windows or Mac or whatever. Um, if for whatever reason you're on a Mac and it brings you to this Windows page, you can hit VLC and hit download and then here it gives you the options for the other platforms so there is Mac OS alright so I'm not gonna go into the full details of how to install it but hopefully uh, you will be able to download it and get it installed but let's assume you got it installed and the first thing you need to do is go find a YouTube video that you want to download here's one of mine so uh, you just copy the address to the video Okay, highlight, right click, copy. And then we're going to launch VLC. And then you click on media. And it's got a bunch of options, but the one you want to click on is open network stream because it considers YouTube videos a network stream. And then uh, the first time you open it, there won't be any URL in here. So I'm just going to right click and paste in the URL of the video that I just copied. And then you just click play. What's going on today, beautiful people? And it will start so playing, but you can't actually save play. it from here. So what I'm going to do is we click pause. Play. Do not click stop or it will cause it to break. I'm going to hit pause so that it's not playing. And then you go to tools and then codec information and right here at the bottom of codec you have this location now it's actually a full address but it's so big that you can't see it all in the box so what I do is just go down here and triple click one two three and it highlights the whole thing okay or you can also click down in there and hit control A and that will also highlight the whole thing and then you right click and copy now we're to the final step you're going to open a new tab and then in your address bar of the new tab you just right click and paste in that address and when you hit enter it will pull up the video I can pause it again and then I just right click right here on the video and I say save video as and it's going to save it as an mp4 and you put it wherever so if you watch my other videos you know, let's say I wanted to put it in my lessons here. Um, I just find the folder I want to put it in, and I'm going to call this Web Design on a Chromebook Part 1. And then we hit Save. And there it is. It's ready for your students to put on a flash drive, or you can put it on a flash drive forum. Okay. Um, you do not need to use this for uh, piracy purposes okay or if somebody has the ability to get on YouTube and watch a video it's better to send them there to do it because that way YouTube can uh, get their money from advertising because I mean they do offer the service basically for free but this is for people that can't get the content otherwise and you need to make sure to get it to them so if you have any questions you can email me at jerry.smith at brithit.kyschools.us and I'll try my best to get back with you. Thanks and have a great day.